Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to share my story about how I used to train anywhere between like 38 and 43 sessions per week. I'm going to show you what happened to me and I'm going to show you a couple of solutions at the end of this video. If you feel like you are grinding it out, doing sessions all week or all weekend, I want to show you a more simple model at the end of this video. But first I want to show and break down what happened to me during that year when I was just doing crazy amount of sessions, all right? So first thing is when I was doing all those sessions, obviously like financially, you, you end up making a lot more money, right? Because you're doing a set amount of sessions every single week. And back then I was charging everyone per month. So a lot of those clients that I was working with, it was all one-on-one -on -one training. I had a couple of groups that I was training, but most, I would say 90%, strictly one-on-one -on -one training. So in order for me to grow my business back then, it was taking on more clients one-on-one. -on -one. So I would make a good amount of money, but I had zero time. I had zero time away from my business. And ultimately what happened is I ended up feeling trapped. I felt trapped because I was doing so many one-on-one -on -one sessions, not just every week, but every weekend too. My weekends were jam-packed with sessions and I never had a break. And when you never have a break as a coach, you feel exhausted, you feel drained. And honestly, you just don't feel good when you go into the next session because your energy level is low. So that was the number one thing I found was the money was good, but had zero energy. Now, the second thing that happened is I never gave myself a chance to take a step back and actually work on my business. It took me about a year to actually think through that and be like, wow, I need... I need to spend time working on my business, not just working in my business. And what happened was I just got so wrapped up day to day in doing sessions and that just became my life. It was, you know, wake up, go do sessions, take a little break, go do more sessions. And I didn't, I never spent time thinking about, all right, well, if I'm going to grow this business, what do I need to do? You know, what are the steps I need to take to kind of take some steps away from doing all of these sessions? And I spent an entire year just doing session after session and never thinking ever about spending time on, well, how can I strategically grow my business? And this is a pretty common thing for a lot of coaches is because they're wrapped up in their sessions all week, they're not thinking through, well, how can I actually grow my business without af actually having to do the physical labor, right? So that is that was a big problem for me. It was I spent about a whole year never thinking about how to actually grow the business. Um, I was just thinking, all right, I need to do more sessions, more sessions, more sessions. And that was just the, the rhythm that I got into. All right. The third thing that I found and this, this ended up being a really big challenge for me. It was anytime I had a friend or someone that wanted to hang out, I always said, no, like I had zero personal life, zero. And that was because I did it to myself. I chose to do session after session and I chose to do 38 to 43 sessions per week. That was my call. It was my business. But if I had to go back, I would have changed it. And I lost friends during that period of time. I didn't spend enough time with family as I should have. And I suffered those consequences because of how I set my business up. And that was 1000% my fault, right? And if you are training session after session and you have zero personal life that is going to happen to you if it hasn't happened to you yet it's going to and then you will feel burned out all right so i had zero time to spend all my business i had zero time to to think through about you know what are the next steps i should take um and i was just caught up in doing session after session after session now what i realized after that year it was a couple of things it was well if I have other people that are helping me, I don't need to work 38 to 43 sessions per week. So I started to bring on other trainers during that point. And that's where I started to delegate the sessions. So I bought back some free time. That's number one. The second thing was once I started to think through, all right, well, how are we going to maximize this business? I started to realize, well, this is not going to be done if it's just purely one-on-one -on -one training. And can you scale a business with one-on-one -on -one training? Yes, but you cannot do that if it's just you. You have to have other bodies. You have to have other people that can fulfill the sessions because you're just one person. There's only 24 hours in a day 
And if you're training players privately, there's only so much you can do by yourself, right? So I started to think through, all right, well, if I have other bodies there, that's great. But we need to start to transition into groups so we can train more players at one time. And this way we can grow the client base and trim down on the hours. So that was the second thing I started to figure out was, all right, well, let's transition from one-on-one -on -one to group training and let's make private training the highest end option. Let's make group training a little bit more affordable. So this way, more clients will choose group training. That should be the go-to option. That's exactly what happened. Because we, we changed the price of one-on-one -on -one training, most of the families ended up going into groups. All right, so that was the second thing. And then the third thing, this happened, it didn't happen right away. But this happened over a couple of years. I started to realize, well, I don't need to work on set days. So I started to eventually take the weekends off completely. I went from training like probably 15, 16 hours every weekend to zero. And the way that I did that, though, it was because I transitioned a lot of my stuff into groups and I had other people that were doing the actual sessions for me instead of me doing everything by myself. So that bought back a lot of time in my personal life all right so those three changes were huge for me a lot of the coaches that we work with inside of our consulting program when they get their business to a point where they can bring on another coach what happens is they start to reduce their time almost in half immediately with their workload as far as the actual day-to-day -day sessions because they have someone else that can do it versus them just doing everything by themselves now some coaches i talk to they don't want to bring anyone on and that's fine you don't have to bring anyone on but what i would say is if you're stuck right now doing one-on-one -on -one sessions and you feel like the only way to make more money is by getting more one-on-one -on -one clients and if you do that you have to spend more and more time what you have to be able to do is you have to take a step back just like how i did and say you know what i need to try to transition this into groups now when you do that it's crazy how much more time you're going to save and if you watch our channel, we have a lot of videos. We talk about group training. We talk about the numbers. We talk about uh, how much more scalable that is. So I encourage you to go watch some other videos we have on our channel. But I see this happen a lot with coaches that strictly do one-on-one -on -one training. They get burned out. They hit a cap in their income. And the only way they can end up doing more income is they just have to work more hours. And then now they have zero time in their personal life. And to me, that defeats the purpose of having a business the same way it happened to me like i i realized that back then it took me a year to figure it out it shouldn't take you a year to figure it out if you're watching this video so hopefully you understand that and hopefully you don't get to the point that that i got to um, because that was miserable and I, I wouldn't want any other coach to go through that so that's it for today's video if you want to connect with me personally right below this video i have a free webinar all right that webinar it shows you the four simple steps to get to six figures in your training business. I highly recommend go watch that webinar. We've had a bunch of coaches now that have gone through that. A lot of coaches have reported back to me. They've seen great results. They've started to raise their prices. They've gotten more committed clients. So go watch that, it's free. Just go right below this video. It's gonna be the first link in the description. That's it, I'll see you later.